hopefully the weather plays nice, Brian. I know we might have to duck and dodge come this afternoon. Yeah, but we don't really have any all day rain for in the forecast okay. at any point during this tournament. So that's good. Well, that is um, good. It, it is good. They may have to shift the schedule around to accommodate, especially if they do get good storms. Because right. most of these these matches don't start until early mid afternoon. Yeah. So and I'm sure they're probably used, used to that problem yeah. by now. <laughs> when you got a long event like this, you're going to have some rain and some weather to kind of kind of get through. But uh, uh, we showed you the, at the top of the show the perspective of looking west, and we had more blue skies uh, in the mix there. Looking south uh, from our studio, you can see the Winston Salem skyline. We've got some diffused. Uh, sunshine coming through a pretty heavy cloud canopy, at least as far as coverage is concerned. So we're going to call this mostly cloudy, but obviously some sun is getting through and helping to warm things up for today's open forecast. Again, uh, first matches of round one uh, for both singles and doubles uh, kind of get going early in the afternoon, a little over an hour from now. Uh, cloud cover continues to increase. Temperatures will be close to 80. We'll have a high of around 83 this afternoon that will likely come around 3 or 4 o'clock. And that's the point where we're expecting the most of the storms to start popping up. Coverage should be about 40%. I'm hoping this gets through relatively quickly, unlike the storms that came through last night. Uh, evening storms will be possible at least early on. Uh, the second half of things get going around 7 o'clock tonight. We'll see if they get delayed a bit more. Uh, for tomorrow, for Wednesday, for Thursday, we've got warm conditions. It will be less humid tomorrow once this front slips by. Still, we're expecting temperatures in the mid 80s. Um, sunshine and clouds expected. And again, for Thursday, we could see a few thunderstorms redeveloping. And it starts to ramp up into Friday and Saturday, too, for the semis and for the finals uh, to start the weekend. Temperatures right now, upper 70s across the area. We've enjoyed kind of a, a milder stretch of weather after starting with nine uh, at least from August 2nd to August 11th. We had nine straight days of 90 degree weather. We haven't seen 90 since. It's been 11 days since we've crossed 90 degrees, and I don't really have a, a warm day like that in the forecast moving forward. Those clouds, as I pointed the camera south, you can see them creeping in from the south. Sh uh, sunshine helping to spark some showers. That could be the beginnings of at least a couple of thunderstorms that will start flaring up uh, just along or east of the mountains, and then increase in coverage and intensity as they start to move east. There's a wave that's going to help trigger this once temperatures kind of reach that critical point. Uh, typically in a day like today, that's going to be in the lower 80s. Here's the front that's going to get through first and look at all the wet weather up and along that. We actually going to bring back more sunshine in your forecast for a day or two. This is a weekend front that will start to move in. That's also expected to get through, helping to keep our temperatures in the lower 80s for highs and bring back those rain chances moving forward. So for today, uh, temperatures warming up to around 83 this afternoon. The rain chances peak about 40%. We have impact icons up uh, for that marginal risk of severe thunderstorms we'll talk about here in a moment. 81 for the foothills today, 40% chance for storms. I think around mid afternoon over the next couple of hours and then that rain chance should start to uh, get scaled back a bit more. And for the mountains, uh, best rain chances are over the next couple of hours and then uh, a drop off as we head into the evening hours. This was that marginal risk area that was added mid morning by the Storm Prediction Center. It does include areas along and south of I-40, most likely the areas that were not worked over all that much by the overnight storms that came in the early morning. Because of all that rain, in some cases three inches or more fell, we do have a higher risk than we normally do for heavy rain induced flash flooding. Lightning has been frequent with these storms, especially in the high humidity, to a lesser degree wind damage and a low risk day for hail and isolated tornadoes. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Warmer weather and then eventually a bit of a cool down Thursday into the weekend. Uh, storm chances mostly in the afternoons for Friday and for Saturday. We're back in a moment.